and five hundred and seventy dollar fine, and we're going to put it in the Houston Chronicle and on Houston TV and tell you it's good. Yes, the CIA is going to be interviewed in the Washington Post and admit they put out fake Bin Laden videos. Yes, the CIA is going to go on TV and admit that they ship in uh, and, 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 and grow the opium. It's like uh, the Fox News reporter going, what's the big deal? Everybody's saying they blew up Building 7. I was there that day, and sure, I heard them say they, they were going to blow it up, but they didn't have to because it fell on its own. And Larry Silverstein saying, yeah, we gave the decision to pull it, gave the order to watch it come down. We have all these cops on video saying, get back, they're going to blow it up. They're admitting they grow the opium and ship it in. They're admitting they make fake bin Laden videos. They're admittedly ripping everyone off, and they just don't care anymore. It's like Robert Rodriguez and the Film Commission saying they weren't getting any state funding, and now Aaron found the video of him with the governor saying, thank you for the $30 million for Machete, Governor. Him with the governor, and then the governor's running around lying and saying they didn't fund it. I just can't. <laughs> they have made a conscious decision to just, to just lie about everything, simultaneously admitting everything. This is why I'm flipping out right now. Top construction firm, WTC, destroyed by controlled demolition. Veteran Middle East correspondent Alan Hart, this is a big BBC reporter, largest engineering firm, studied collapse of Twin Towers, and so there was no doubt it was controlled explosion. Well, yeah, you also have uh, underwriter and laboratories, you always see UL on, on, on buildings, on steel, on air conditioners, on fire extinguishers. Underwriting laboratories did their own study and said they blew the thing sky high. And then they said, keep it internal. And, they're, and they're, one of their engineers went public with the report and they fired him. They blew all three buildings up right in front of you. They blew up Building 7 with blast points going out. I mean, and I'm supposed to say, no, there's no way the government would do that because I choose to not believe it. I'm not going to talk about it. And Paul Watson, we're going to queue up where he uh, did this interview, and I want to get him on Muo Pronto. Veteran Middle East correspondent Alan Hart, largest engineering firm, studied collapse of Twin Towers and said there was no doubt it was controlled explosion. See, the globalists have a problem. It's just everybody starts coming out and saying, look, I'm done playing games. I'm not going along with your mind control. Sodium fluoride gives you cancer. Here's all the government documents. We're not doing it. You're putting cancer viruses in the vaccine. Here's a thousand mainstream reports admitting it. You're, you're growing the drugs, shipping it in. It just, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We got the Goldman Sachs emails. They engineered the collapse. We're done. We're done. We're done. 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 Do you get it through your stinking head? We're through. We're not putting up with it anymore. We're not putting up with Felipe Calderon. That, drug lord up here shaking his finger at us and telling us to turn our guns into him. We're done. You understand? We're done. We're through. We're finished. We're angry. We're not under your guilt control anymore. It's over. Respected Middle East expert and former BBC presenter Alan Hart has broken his silence on 911 by revealing that the world's most prominent civil engineering company told him directly that the collapse of the Twin Towers was a controlled demolition. Speaking on the Kevin Barrett show, I know Kevin, he's a good guy. In fact, cue it up. Let me play this later. I'm going to push Burian back. This is breaking. Hart said he thought the 911 attack probably started as a Muslim operation headed up by Osama bin Laden, but that the plot was subsequently hijacked and carried out by Mossad agents in collusion with elements of the CIA, adding that since its formation, Israel has penetrated every Arab government and terrorist organization. So he's, he's going with the Israel did it. Uh, it's all these governments involved together. Uh, because, I mean, how did Israel make NORAD stand down? How did Israel have CIA drills? And again, if you got five heads on a hydra, it's all part of the hydra. It's not defending Israel. It's not defending England. It's not defending the U.S. It's just to say it's Israel will then also make it unpalatable in the media and it's going to be spun. It's, it, it, it's like when I talked to the admirals involved here on air and they all said, LBJ was involved with the USS Liberty, working with Israel to sink it and blame it on Egypt. That's just what the admiral said. It doesn't give Israel any cover being involved in the attack that our government was involved as well. It shows the collusion. My guess is that at an early point, they said to the bad guys in the CIA, hey, this operation running what we do, 
and it goes on from there. So we'll get him on to talk about this ASAP. Uh, that is certainly uh, big news, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to come back, talk to Watson briefly, go to your phone calls. I'm just having to collate all this right now live on air as it unfolds. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Hello, this is Alex Jones with some important questions. If you're going into a battle and they give you a rifle and a sidearm, how much ammunition do you want? My answer would be all I can get. In the battle for freedom and the lives of your loved ones, food is your only ammunition. How much do you want? When do you want it? Now or after the battle starts? When will you need it? Can you buy it without proper identification? Will there be any food? Will it make your children sick? If there's a quarantine and you can't feed yourself, will you go to the gathering center and be immunized? You wipe out all these problems if you have a good food supply. Food is your ammunition to fight for your freedom and your life. How much will you need? We don't know. How much do you want? All you can get. I'm Alex Jones. I want all of you good guys to live to fight another day. Call 1-800-409-5633 or check it out on the web at efoodsdirect.com. Again, that number, 1-800-409-5633. Let me tell you a little bit about one of our great sponsors, homegain.com. This is the place to get you started buying or selling a home, finding a realtor, and getting any real estate questions answered. Go to homegain.com and see what I'm talking about. All you need to do is type in your home address and you will get an instant free estimate of your home's value online. This is a great way to be able to monitor the value of your home. And again, it's absolutely free. There are tons of tools to help you. For instance, if you want to remodel your home, go to homegain.com. Use their home sale maximizer to help you determine which home improvements can most increase your home's value before you put it on the market. For 10 years, these folks have been helping home sellers and buyers. Visit their link at InfoWars.com. Look for Max, the orange home gain gorilla, to help you with any real estate needs you might have. You'll love this site. It's HomeGain.com. H-O-M-E-G-A-I-N.com. Check them out today. They helped to create a new world order. We are part of a new world order. A new world order based upon collective action. Invisible Empire is a damning indictment of the globalists through their own words and documents. The new world order really is a tool for addressing a new world of possibilities. It means all the world under their control. The United Nations would take over America. The Trilateral Commission would control the world. Invisible Empire chronicles how men of power and influence have worked in stealth for centuries to establish an oppressive world government. I believe, first of all, that we now need nothing short of a world constitution for the global financial system. Global governance with the establishment of the G20. So it's going to be an inner ruling elite and then everyone else. And I got news for you. You're everyone else. Invisible Empire. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or PrisonPlanet.com or watch it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. This is huge breaking news. Uh, Paul Watson does such a great job ferreting out all the info. Um, we've been to Alan Hart's website, and, and he's got a lot of our material up there. Seems very favorable to the work we're doing. Uh, and the real reason I want to talk to him, you can debate what intelligence agency had the lead role, but when you talk about U.S., British, Israeli, uh, it, it, it's all merged at the hip. Uh so I'm not even getting into that area, you know, his speculation on that. And, and, and you know, clearly uh, some elements of Israeli intelligence had roles. The bigger, I mean, it's admitted ABC News, uh, LA Times, that Israeli intelligence was shadowing and, and, and living next door to the hijackers. In some cases where they're, where they're landlords. I mean, that's a whole other subject. I want to get him on record about the construction firm telling him that it was a controlled demolition. That is the big one. And Watson's done a great job. Uh, I think he should probably add the latest information uh, with the Fox News pundit admitting that that day he was told they were going to blow up Building 7. 
uh, and and also all that other uh, information. Uh, but Kevin Barrett is a great guy, so we'll get him on uh, as well about this very, very soon. I'm going to play a clip of this coming up in a moment, and then David, Roy, Joe, Eric, and others ahead of Walter Burian uh, joining us. But what an amazing story. Top construction firm, WTC destroyed by control.